So someone asked me, if we have an ester functional group attached directly to the benzene ring, is it electron donating? Electron withdrawing? Is it activating? Or is it deactivating? So what is it actually? So first of all, we have to understand the structure of the ester group. It has this C double bond O, CO single bond, with an R group here. Okay? And suppose in this case, the R group becomes a benzene. Let's use this molecule as a form example, then we can see it better. Now the ester group is asymmetrical, COO. So for this purpose, I'm going to draw two benzene rings next to this ester for comparison. As I've discussed earlier, if we see a polarized pi bond next to a benzene ring, we call this a conjugated pi bond. And what is so special about this is, this carbon here carries a delta positive charge, and this oxygen is a delta negative charge. This polarized pi bond will pull electrons from the benzene ring this way. Do you see? This pi bond move up, pushing these pi electrons up. So, if I follow the trail of the purple ring, what I have here will be this. Double bond, carbon, oxygen, negative charge, single bond, O, this part is not changed. Okay, I just use a circle here to save time. Right. This carbon here previously was connected to one hydrogen. Here, this hydrogen stay, but the thing is this carbon will take a positive charge. So you realize that for the purple ring over here, it has taken a positive charge. Now, for the right side, if you look at the other side of the ester, this oxygen carries lone pairs of electron. It doesn't matter how many lone pairs of electron this atom carry next to the benzene ring. As long as I have one lone pair, that's good enough. Lone pair could be pushed and gets delocalized into the ring. We want to form this pi bond, but this pi bond could give way and I can push it here. So as a result, again here the left ring, I don't touch it first. So imagine there's no change. Only the right side, electron pushing. We have double bond with this oxygen carries a positive charge and a benzene ring. So then now, this carbon here gains some electron density and becomes negatively charged with the lone pair. The other bond will stay. And what you realize is the orange ring previously will gain some negative charge, higher electron density. Whereas the purple ring that's also next to the ester gains a positive charge. So that means an ester next to a benzene ring. You have to be careful which side you're talking about. If the benzene ring is next to the CO double bond side directly, it is being deactivated because it gains a positive charge. Electrophile would not prefer to go in. But if this benzene ring is directly connected to the oxygen of the ester, then it will be activated because it gains a negative charge. So given a choice, a single electrophile will prefer to go to this ring here, let's call it number 2 over 1, due to this reason.